Good morning, folks. We've got a look all around from California earthquake risk to weather to top science news, including galactic evolution and the breaking of quantum physics. Hi, folks. Did you notice the two bright spheres that formed on the earth facing quiet in that last video? They aren't as dramatic as the one shown in this picture on a similar star, but we saw one like this picture here a few weeks ago on our star right before all the superstorms hit. Now we have the same situation that we had a couple of weeks ago. We've got a lot of dust in the atmosphere and, atmosphere, and we've got new super spots on the sun. And I believe we're going to see another round of superstorms. Now let's look ahead and see what's coming. We have another system from the tropics heading north to visit Europe. Two actually with one coming now and the other towards the end of the weekend. And I'll make the same prediction as I did last time, based on Jupiter, that these storms will slow down and just sit there for a while when they get close to land. Now this. Folks, this is Nature Communications, and after two years of hot debate in the physics community, the paper is out and it's not so great for mainstream science. By changing Schrodinger's cat to multiple scientists doing research and using textbook working out of the possible realities, they conflict. Quantum physics cannot describe itself consistently, which means it's close, but not the essence of truth, just like Newtonian physics is useful on Earth, but not inside a star. Well, science is stuck in their left brain logic, and they're never going to understand that reality is not just purely logical. One of the lead authors has taken this two-year battle with the universe and totally left academia now. Ah, somebody woke up and balance their left brain logic with their right brain feelings. This is the symbol for Libra, or balance, by the way. This means that there is something likely far simpler and fundamental underlying the processes guiding what we observe in the universe. That's why my number one rule is keep it simple. In this round of destruction, we're going to go all the way back to the Hawaii volcano eruptions. Uh, the most productive event so far is uh, number 22. It is the one right here. It's generating most of the lava, and it's created this lava flow that winds its way down here, it winds over there, and then back down to the ocean. Uh, earlier this morning, there was some additional activity. Uh, over here, at fissure number six and 15, they're, all, they're very tightly close together. So there was an additional little lava flow that started to head toward the south uh, from there. Uh, so this is a map. It's a little hard to read. It's a little washed out, I realize. But uh, I wanted to point out um, something that you've heard about in the news and we've tried to talk about, and that is the changing chemistry of the lava that's being erupted from the East Rift Zone. To save some time here, uh, they found deeper magma is coming to the surface now. Uh, later in the afternoon, some fissures became active again in the middle of Leilani Estates. So like I said, it's very hard to track all of these uh, different fissures that have become active. But one thing is clear is that more magma is coming to the surface now than, than earlier in the eruption sequence. Florence death toll climbs to 36 as women in sheriff's van drown. This is tragic. The cops got out and let the two women drown. Massive floods in the North Carolina region now killing 3.4 million poultry, 5,500 hogs. Estimates on crop losses are still not available. The flooding from the first storm isn't over yet, and you can see all the losses that we've taken. What's going to happen when we get hit again in rapid succession? Guys, in this video, we're going to start down here in Singapore where there's been a series of unknown mysterious blackouts for unknown reasons. Story dated yesterday, September 18th, and here are the areas that were affected. Almost 150,000 people sitting in the dark all across Singapore, and there's some kind of eerie pictures that have surfaced here at this article from ChannelNewsAsia.com. And this went on for the better part of the entire night. Here you can see a, an entire building, just completely black. Another picture here. This building, part of it's black, part of it's not. That one's off, this one's on. Highly unusual. 
the power company for that matter, they say they're looking into this situation. At the moment, they too are unclear as to exactly what has happened here. I've already showed a number of times that plasma is attracted to metal and energy sources. The power system was being drained temporarily and that's why they couldn't find anything wrong after it stopped. This stuff is going to continue to remain a mystery, folks, until people start thinking plasma. Here in Utah, a wildfire has erupted dramatically that was started by lightning right here in this area in northern Utah, north central Utah. Now considering that this fire is close to Salt Lake in Utah and all the fires in California were near lakes, uh, that leads me to believe that this fire was also caused by plasma discharge. Now compare where the smoke is coming from in this next video clip to this uh, magnetic anomaly map. There it goes. Look at that. Unbelievable. It's in north central Utah. That fire is the Polk Creek Fire. I think it's around 84,000 acres. Let's check it out and see. 84,000 acres, only 25% contained. So it's been burning now for almost two weeks and 25% contained, uh, nearly 85,000 acres. But today it really uh, went into an uproar where you could see a huge plume visible from space. Now let me show you another type of plasma discharge phenomenon that we're going to see more and more of. Most pictures of this type of discharge I see are coming out of water. This one here is coming out of the earth though. An unusual call for the Midway Volunteer Fire Department. A volleyball-sized hole with flames shooting out of it off Highway 5 South in Midway. Fire was burning roughly two feet in diameter, about eight feet tall, and it burned for approximately 40 minutes. The homeowner who lives nearby told us off camera he came outside Monday morning to flames shooting from the hole up to the man's nose on this billboard. Now county leaders are trying to figure out how the phenomenon started. We have contacted every utility company that's in the area, and we know for a fact now that they have lost no service. They have nothing there, so it's nothing to do with the utilities, which would have been, a, which been our first inclination to believe it was something there. No one knows where the hole ends. A few geologists say they don't believe it was caused by a meteorite or lightning strike. Notice the ring of loose, dark material around the hole. My guess is if they analyzed that material, they would find a uh, high concentration of magnetite in it. It looks like Taiwan has settled its differences between the North and the South and are, are reuniting the country. That's excellent news right there. The news comes as Moon wraps up a historic three-day summit with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in North Korea. Earlier today, Moon spoke about his vision for a nuclear-free Korean peninsula. From Mount Paektu to Mount Hala, we promise to make our beautiful rivers and mountains a land of peace without nuclear weapons and nuclear threats, and to pass it on to the future generation. The Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Group has announced plans to bail out more than 500 women and teenagers from Rikers Island in New York in an attempt to show how the current bail system criminalizes poverty. The group's president, Kerry Kennedy, said, quote, there are no wealthy people on Rikers Island because if you are wealthy, you go free because you make bail. In news from Chicago, disgraced Chicago Police Commander John Burge has died at the age of 70. Between 1972 and 1991, more than 200 people, most of them African American, were tortured under his reign. Officers under his command routinely used electric shock, suffocation, and pl with plastic bags and typewriter covers, among other methods, to extract confessions from men who were later shown to be innocent. What do you think this man's karma is going to be when he comes back the next time? That is the most ridiculous 
thing I have seen. The world community wants to keep the Iran nuclear deal. Our allies are miss, miss, you, the, miss, the Germans, miss, the French, the, the bench, British. You want to hold they the want to keep in this deal. To the world community yeah. wants to yeah. keep the deal. Yeah. Let's talk about normal yeah. countries. Let's talk about Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Is that who our allies are? Listen, they are listen, the biggest kind of yeah. threat yeah. People to, hear to the world things. community. You you need to, and let's talk. You're hurting me. You're actually hurting me. Well, you're hurting I want to. I want to ask. Do you think these sanctions are hurting the regime, or are they hurting the Iranian people? They're hurting the Iranian people. You are making a case for war with Iran. How did the war with the Iraq turn out? You're doing exactly the same thing we did in the case of Iraq. We don't want another war in the Middle East. Ma'am, ma'am. you want to go outside and give How a speech? How does Iraq turn you out? Do that. How did you Libya turn out? Speech, you could we that. have the people can, of Syria suffering. Time. And how dare you bring up the Ma'am, issue of Yemen? We are it's the Saudi bombing that is killing most people in Yemen. So let's get real. No more war. Peace with Iran. I'm showing you this video to point out how brave this woman is. You know they probably took her to jail after doing that. And she knows that she's risking being tortured and abused while she's in jail. You don't think that's a scare? Now imagine how this scene would have turned out if that woman sitting on stage would have jumped up and defended the Code Pink woman when she was attacked. And how about if all the women in the audience would have jumped up and defended them? This, this scene would have gone down in national history, world history. Men aren't likely to jump up and defend women in a situation like that because they know it'll end up in a fist fight. So it's got to be done by women. You're the weaker sex and men aren't going to just pound on you right away. You have to stick together to take your power back. It's the only way. That's it for this video, folks. Take care and I'll see you next time.